My name's Priya and I've been reading since I was three years old. Today, I'll be reading you Pepper's Holiday Cruise. Here's the blurb. Pepper and George are going on a brilliant holiday cruise with Granny and Grandpa Pig. They'll make new friends, visit new places and even ride a potato. Let's read. Pepper and George were going on a special holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Bye bye Goldie, said Pepper to her pet fish. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday, shouted Mummy Pig as they drove off. And don't forget to phone, added Daddy Pig. Granny Pig told Pepper and George that they were going on a cruise. A cruise is a holiday on a big boat. When they arrived at the dock, Grandpa Pig looked around. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa, said Peppa, pointing up. I say, said Grandpa Pig, what a big boat it is. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig took a lift all the way up to the top deck of the very big cruise ship. Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, said Captain Otter. Our solar powered cruise ship. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin, said one of the crew members. As they headed to their cabin, the cruise ship set sail. Ooh, said Peppa, when they reached their cabin. We have a big bed, two little beds, a television, and we can see the sea. Shall we explore the ship now? Asked Grandpa Pig. Yes, cheered Peppa. It's such a big ship, said Granny Pig. I wonder what we will find. The cruise ship had lots of things to see and do. There were paddling pools, a giant soft play centre, a cinema, an arcade with games to play, and lots of exciting shops and cafes. This boat has everything, said Peppa. It certainly does, said Grandpa Pig, tired from all the racing around. George's favourite thing on the whole ship was the ride on potato. He didn't want to do anything else. Tato, cheered George. While George was busy riding the potato over and over again, Peppa found the trampolines. Then she played in the splash pool and she made a new friend called Rohan Rhino. They had lots of fun together. Granny Pig and Peppa went back to find George and Grandpa Pig at the potato ride. Did you have a lovely time, George? asked Granny Pig. Tato, Tato, cheered George. That night, it was showtime on the cruise ship. Everyone got dressed up for the occasion. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pirate Pete, said the pirate on the stage. Peppa and George watched as Pirate Pete helped Miss Mermaid get in a magic treasure chest and then turned her into, poof, chocolate coins, shouted Pirate Pete as he threw them out to the audience. Hooray! Everyone cheered, amazed. But wait, said Pirate Pete. Miss Mermaid is gone. Who can help me get her back? Peppa's hands shot up into the air. Me! She shouted. I can help you! Pirate Pete asked Peppa to come on stage and say the magic word. Abracadabra! Said Peppa. Poof! Miss Mermaid jumped out of the magic treasure chest and everyone cheered. What a fantastic show. The next morning, Pepper and George woke up bright and early. They took a little boat from the cruise ship to a tropical island. Pepper's friend Rohan was there too. He helped her find a present for Goldie. It was a toy whale. That's very kind, Peppa, said Granny Pig. Is there anyone else we need to buy a gift for? Mummy 
and Daddy can play with the whale too, said Peppa. I think we should call home now, said Grandpa Pig. Yes, said Peppa. I need to speak to Goldie. Uh, hello, said Daddy Pig sleepily. Who is this? It's me, Daddy, said Peppa. Can I speak to Goldie, please? Daddy Pig took the phone to Goldie and Peppa told her all about her holiday. What's the best thing about your holiday, George? Asks Mummy Pig. Potato, said George. Potato, said Mummy and Daddy Pig, looking at each other in confusion. George loves the potato ride, explained Peppa. Peppa, George and Granny and Grandpa Pig got the little boat back from the tropical island to the cruise ship. Then they sat down to a delicious dinner on the deck. Spaghetti, cheered Peppa. Spaghetti, cheered George. It was a lovely night. The next day was the last day of the holiday. Peppa said goodbye to her new friend. I won't forget you, Rohan, she said sadly. They didn't want the holiday to end. Don't worry, Peppa. You can keep in touch, said Granny Pig. And there'll be other holidays. George said goodbye to the ride on potato. Don't worry, George, said Peppa. There'll be other potatoes. The cruise ship sailed all the way home. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Goldie had come to meet Peppa and George. Mummy, Daddy, Goldie, cheered Peppa, running straight to Goldie. Was it a good holiday? Asked Daddy Pig. It was the best holiday ever, said Peppa. There were pirates, mermaids, Splash pools, shops, and Tato, said George. We had a wonderful time, said Granny Pig. And now we can go home and rest, said Grandpa Pig. And after that, we can all go on a cruise ship holiday again, said Peppa. Peppa and George love cruise ship holidays. Everyone loves cruise ship holidays. Hee <laughs> hee ha ha. Thank you so much for joining me to read tonight. I hope you have a great night. And if you'd like to see my next book, remind mum and dad to subscribe. See you next time.